Hello and welcome to the 17th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX version 3 C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at tinting using the tint by action. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 5 if you haven't don't worry there'll be a link in the description to the source code or you can just implement it directly into your own project also there'll be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So tint by basically allows you to affect the RGB values of a certain item or we're going to be affecting a sprite over a set period of time relative to what its current RGB values are. So let's just open up our project. So now what we want to do is create an action. So do auto action equal to tint by colon colon create. We're going to specify how long we want the action to take and put 3 seconds. Now we can affect the red, green and blue. I'm just going to affect the red and put minus 255, put 0, 0. Obviously minus 255 will literally get rid of all the red. So now if we run, no, don't want to run it yet as I have not run the action. So my sprite, run action. You can only just specify the action. Sorry about that. Put a semicolon, and now if we run this, you'll see the red being affected over a period of three seconds. Basically, it's going to get rid of the red. There you go, it got rid of the red. That's it for this tutorial. We looked at tinting using tint by. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at tinting using tint two. Basically, allows you to tint to a specific value instead of relative to what it is. It's relative to what it originally was. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description to that or just comment or just message us via YouTube. Also, all the required links for the source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.